Hey, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew, aka Booty Sweat, and there's been a lot of negativity going on around the uh, NRS announcement that there would be no more support for MK11. I made a video about it, and it kind of popped off a little bit. It, it, it got a lot of attention, and so I appreciate that. But I, I figured now that MK11 is at the end of its lifespan, now is probably as good a time as ever to give some kind of thoughts on the game. Uh, I make content around it, and... Uh, generally, I'm a pretty positive person. That doesn't mean, however, that I don't have criticisms of the game. That I don't. You, if you watch my other video, uh, then you know that I have criticisms of the way that NRS is handling things, all of that kind of stuff. But for this video, I kind of wanted to go over some things that I like about Mortal Kombat 11. I'm just going to go with the top three things that I really enjoy about the game. Um, and then for those of you who like a little more of a negative type of video, I'm going to kind of break it up into two videos and later on this week I'm going to come out with the top three things that I really dislike about Mortal Kombat 11. So if you like the Mortal Kombat 11 content, if you like other fighting game content, make sure you like and subscribe, etc. So on and so forth. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Alrighty, let's get into the list of things that I like about Mortal Kombat 11. The first thing that I want to talk about that I really like about MK11, it's kind of two things, but I'm going to go ahead and group it into one because I don't think it really warrants taking up two spots on such a small list. And that's kind of the overall design and presentation of the game. I think the game looks and sounds phenomenal. The graphics are really nice. The animations are the best they've ever been from NRS. They're not perfect, but they're certainly a far cry better than MKX or Injustice 2's horrible animations. You don't really have as many of the noodle legs or the weird flailing anymore, you know, the weird kind of... Like, down threes are kind of a meme, but even in MK11, even though down threes aren't the best animated thing usually, they're still better than they have been ever in the past. Of course, the graphics are beautiful, the story mode is beautiful. Um, uh, all, of the, all of that kind of stuff, like the physical presentation of the game, the visual presentation of the game, and also the sound design. I'm really into the sound design. I think the moves uh, look and sound really visceral. I think the visuals and the audio really work uh, well in tandem to create kind of this very heavy and very uh, impactful sort of experience. That's one of the reasons why I love playing Baraka. He's just like stabbing people and slapping people across the face. And it just is like, it's so visceral. It's so enjoyable just to, and satisfying to uh, do those combos and do those moves that kind of give you that effect. So overall, I think the audio and visual presentation of the game, top notch, definitely the best of any NRS game so far in my opinion. So yeah, that's going to be the first thing that I really, really enjoy about MK11. The second thing that I think I really enjoy in MK11, and this might be controversial because I've seen a lot of people that kind of don't like it, and that's the gear and cosmetic system. So let me clarify. I like the amount of gear and cosmetics, like the skins and different things like that. I think the idea of having all these different cosmetic items and uh, skin color, you know, like different colors for different skins and stuff like that for every character, it just adds a lot to the game in my opinion. For completionists, it's kind of a pain in the butt, I know, because there's so many there. But that's kind of where I would complain about it a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to put this in my top three things I dislike about the game, but I will say I think the implementation of the cosmetic system isn't the best. I think that there should be ways for you to unlock all of the cool gear and skins and things for the characters that you actually like to play, that you actually want to get their cosmetics and stuff for. For instance, I don't play Aaron Black. I don't have any interest in playing Aaron Black. So I think I should... I think there should be a way for me to at least closer to guarantee that I get like Baraka or Shao Kahn or Noob Saibot stuff rather than Aaron Black or Collector or whoever. Um, it's really grindy. Uh, I'm going to talk about Towers of Time in my other video because I really hate those. And I hate that I have spent probably hundreds of hours playing Towers of Time to get those cosmetics and those gear items. But all that said, the actual system of being able to customize your character's look to a large degree, I think is very cool. I think it was better in Injustice 2, but I still think that it's like, it adds a lot to the game. It certainly doesn't detract from the game at all. And it's definitely one of the things that I enjoy the most about it. 
And uh, finally, just for this list, these aren't the only three things that I like about the game, but these are just kind of the three things that stand out the most and make it an enjoyable experience for me. And the third thing I'm going to point out is the netcode. The netcode is very, very good in this game. I've seen a lot of people complain about it, but uh, I don't know if those people ever play like Street Fighter V. That has gotten better over the years, but like initially it was just horrid. Um, you have, you know, games like Grand Blue Fantasy versus Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, these older Arxis games, Guilty Gear Strive is out and it has rollback, really good rollback, but uh, you know, if you've ever played some of those other games with like the worst netcode, uh, you can really appreciate this netcode. And so uh, the rollback in this game is very good in my opinion. There's most of the time it feels pretty seamless. If you can't get a match against somebody with like low ping and a wired connection, as long as you have the wired connection, usually it's fine. Uh, I will complain again. Uh, it's kind of sucks because it seems like I'm adding complaints into my top three things, but uh, the fact that you can't filter out Wi-Fi players in ranked I think is really dumb. You can do that in casuals, so I don't really know why they won't let you do it in ranked. Um, if they're a, if they're like below a certain ping threshold, you have no option, even if they're Wi-Fi, to decline the match, and uh, that's dumb because. The whole thing about Wi-Fi is the fluctuate, it's the instability of the connection, right? That's why you don't typically want to play on Wi-Fi. There's the instability factor, so the ping might be fine at the select screen or uh, at the matchup screen or whatever, but you know it can fluctuate up and down and get all crazy during the match. So, uh, but all of that having been said, overall the netcode is very good when you get a, a good solid wired connection with another player or even a Wi-Fi connection with sometimes with a player with low ping. I mean, it's pretty seamless. It feels really good. Um, as a result, I think the net play is a lot of fun. Generally, I don't really like Combat League, but that'll be for the other video. But in general, I think the net play is fun and it feels really good with a wired connection um, with a pretty good rollback netcode. So uh, that's going to be the top three things that I like. Again, the audio vi visual presentation, uh, the gear system, the skins, cosmetics, the amount of customization, and the very, very good rollback netcode, all of which, in my opinion, make for a at least somewhat uh, enjoyable experience. And uh, don't worry, again, I have plenty of gripes with the game as well, and I will be covering those in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned, because we will be going over those here shortly. And I'm sure uh, if it, if the reaction to the video that I got uh, covering the NRS announcement is anything to go by, I'm sure lots of you guys have lots of criticisms of this game. So um, anyway, uh, maybe you guys will enjoy that one more, I don't know. But I just wanted to be a little positive here and just cover some things that I genuinely do like about the game first. Uh, okay. All right, well, that's going to do it for this one. Have a good one. Be blessed.